Hey guys, welcome to vtcacademy.com and here in this presentation we are going to discuss about rationalization. Now let us take two sorts that is 2 root 2 and root 2. And now let us multiply this. So here we can write this as 2 into under root 2 square. So here using the law of nth root a power n is equal to a we can write this as 2 into 2. That implies we get here result as 4, which is nothing but a rational number. Now let us consider two more thirds. That is root 5 plus root 3 and root 5 minus root 3. And now let us multiply this. So here by multiplying we get root 5 whole square minus root 3 whole square. Here, applying the law of nth root of a power n is equal to a, we get here 5 minus 3, that is nothing but 2, which is a rational number. So here, we can say that if the product of two thirds is a rational number, then each of the two thirds is called rationalizing factor of the other. So here, we can say that root 2 is a rationalizing factor of 2 root 2 and here root 5 minus root 3 is the rationalizing factor of root 5 plus root 3. Now let us solve a problem using the concept of rationalization. So here we have to find the simplest rationalizing factor of root 75. So here root 75 can be written as under root 25 into 3. So that is nothing but we can write this as root 25 into root 3. So here we get root 25 is nothing but 5 into root 3. So now let us multiply 5 root 3 into root 3. That implies we get here 5 into root 3 square. So here using the law of nth root of a power n is equal to a we can write this as 5 into 3. That implies we get here result as 15 which is a rational number. So here we can say that root 3 is the simplest rationalizing factor of root 75. So this was the basic introduction on rationalization. Hope you understood the concept. Do like and subscribe to vteachacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.